hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I am filming a get to know me everyday makeup look I know they do a lot of these over TikTok, so I wanted to take it to YouTube and film a fun video for you I like haven't sat down and filmed something like this for so long so it is so overdue so yes if you like this makeup look please keep watching wow it feels so good to be back filming up in the setting I haven't filmed like a proper makeup video with like my ring light it's actually sitting down at a desk in probably over a year so this is way long overdue I've been filming a lot of my videos in my room like makeup wise just because I think the lighting is a bit better in there but I do realize sitting down with the ring lights you guys can see a lot more partially it is just me being lazy because I have a little makeshift studio setup right here <laughs> but without further ado let's you know get right into it <laughs> i think i say that almost every video but whatever it's my catchphrase at this point <laughs> so a new starbucks opened like literally a few blocks away from me like the closest one before was at least like a 15 minute detour because the one that one the one i was going to before was just a walk-in like not drive through so to treat myself on this beautiful fall day, I did get a pumpkin spice latte to help fuel me through this video. This, and by the way, this is not sponsored by Starbucks. However, I wish. <laughs> so since I've done like my last full face of makeup routine, it has changed a little bit. Like there's a lot of stuff I still do the same, but I have switched recently to a lot of cream products. So I'm really excited to show you my new routine. And I just wanna clarify, this is an everyday makeup routine. I do use like um, foundation and whatnot when I'm like really beat my face when I'm going out, but I'm not really doing much today. So we're just gonna do some everyday makeup. So first to start, I use the Merit Beauty Concealer. I am obsessed with this product. It has turned into my favorite concealer. I used the mac pro longwear concealer for i want to say like seven years like something really crazy like that um i did not defer to anything else but i worked with merit on a youtube video so they sent me a bunch of their products so i was able to try out this new concealer and i fell in love like i blended out with my finger because it helps warm the product up and then I go ahead and use a beauty blender just to make sure it's like fully blended out. But it is so, so nice feeling on the skin. Like it's very light, but like covers my dark circles. I did get this product when I had finished Accutane or had almost finished. So, you know, I can't say that it's like good for covering acne, but if it's as good as it covers dark circles, you know, I'm sure it does a good trick. And I'm just using the Laura Mercier powder to set it. And then as well, I am doing a little get to know me. So let's start with that. I love watching these kinds of videos um, because I feel like it's just nice getting to know like the creators you like a lot better. So my name is Lindsay, <laughs> obviously. Um, well, obviously if you didn't know me, my name is Lindsay. I am 27 years old. My birthday was this past September, September 1st, Virgo baby. <laughs> um, I grew up in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm sure a lot of my subscribers are from here. A lot of them are my friends. <laughs> but if you don't know me personally, hello. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And I've always been obsessed with like fashion and beauty. Like when I was a little girl, I would always try on my mom's clothes. Like when we had family over, I'd always come down in different outfits and be like, like walk down the stairs. Like I was like a runway model, always looking through my mom's like fashion magazines and um, the celebrity magazines as well. My mom's a huge celebrity junkie as much as she probably doesn't like to admit it. <laughs> Um, and then like when I was finally, you know, old enough to go shopping with my mom, I just remember 
looking past the makeup stores and going in with her when she was buying makeup and just being so obsessed with beauty like and how makeup can totally either transform your face, enhance your features, whatever kind of look you want to go for. I was just so fascinated by everything. By the way, next we're going to contour our face with the Fenty um, contouring stick. So yeah, that's like, it honestly kind of like carried through my life. Like when I, I, I felt like I first started getting a fashion sense in like grade eight. Like, it wasn't a good fashion sense, but like <laughs> as for going outside the box and like not caring what people think, I was in my thriving era. Like I remember I got these like rainbow tights and, and that was huge for me to wear to school because no one wore shit like that and like I love them. Like, I don't know, like I just really kind of stopped caring what people thought about me, like for a bit at least because yeah, just like little stuff like that. It was like quirky kind of stuff that like I really liked. I was just always a shopping junkie, like would always ask my mom to go shopping with me. I want to say like in high school, I like loved shopping and like, you know, cared about my outfits. But I would say like when my personal style like really hit, it was like when I was around like 20 and like every year, previously after up until now. Like that's when I really started to gain confidence and wearing, like, you know, like caring more about like what I bought, how I paired things, like getting, like getting a capsule wardrobe because a lot of stuff I had bought previously was like just because I liked it, I'd wear it once and like would have nothing to wear it with again because it was like too trendy. Basically how I got to being a creator and influencing um, you know, when I was like 20, 21, 22, like a little cute thotty, I would, I would love like getting dressed up and taking pictures with my friends, like for Instagram and that kind of stuff. So I did that for a while, like IG baddie stuff. And then, you know, this is when fashion creators became more popular on Instagram. Like I would say I was definitely a little late to the train because there's a lot of influencers now that are big like they started in 2016 like I I said I would say I started in 2018 and that was just you know I was like so nervous because you know my city's kind of small and like I uh, I kind of cared what people thought but like I didn't care enough to like let it get in the way of what I really wanted to do so I first started like just posting some like cute outfits like out with my friends and then slowly started tagging the brands and then did that for about a, a year like not consistently and then I would say like when I finished college in 2020 like that's when like I really really started to take things seriously and be like okay I would love to make like a career out of this someday like if I can because I always wanted to be in fashion some way but like I feel like I had less connections and my parents like didn't have all the money to be able to like send me to like a school a uh, fashion school in Toronto or anything like that and I sure as hell didn't have the money like now I would like if I was younger and like still really wanted to do that, I would have probably taken out a student loan or something or did something and try to make it work. But that's just not something my friend group personally did. So it was, I basically thought like, oh shit, like I have no chance. So becoming a fashion creator just seemed like the perfect fit for me because I finally was able to have a career in fashion without having to pay for this, the schooling, moving to a different city, making all these connections that I, I didn't have and etc. So that's kind of how I got brought here. And that was a super long story, but that's kind of, you know, how, how it all began. But yeah, I remember watching like America's Next Top Model like every season, like we had a fashion channel on my parents' cable TV. My family had always bought me like fashion books and stuff, like 
it was a very easy transition for me and like I remember having sleepovers with my girlfriends when we were like kids and stuff I'd like always do their makeup we'd always get dressed up and like do our hair like like this is just so me like if you know me in person by the way I did use the Fenty bronzer in the color Islanding. This has not changed for a long time. I love this bronzer. Um, I'm very obsessed with it. I forgot to blend this out. I like using my fingers to initially blend it out, but the beauty blender like just makes sure everything is like perfect. And then, oh, I didn't blend this out either. That would have looked crazy. That would have looked really bad. Jeez. <laughs> Um, so yeah, now I'm just like kind of setting that with a little bit of bronzer. That is so funny. That looks horrific. Yeah, this just kind of like helps set and accentuate my nose contour. I do this even for my everyday makeup because like if I don't contour my nose, I feel like I look like a totally different person. I'm like not in a good way. <laughs> Next, we're going in and highlighting our face and using the MAC mineralized skin finish in the color light question topic um i have a little brother he's 22 his name's colin I feel like a lot of people always think i'm a single child single whatever only child whoops but no i have a younger brother i feel like we've definitely gotten like a lot closer since he graduated high school and like I moved out and stuff because like before he was just like my annoying little brother <laughs> I mean my hobbies include I think I'm so open and honest about this now but I freaking love watching TV and movies like when I'm not like working and like doing my creator stuff I often just watch so much TVs and movies because I genuinely love it like it brings me so much joy before I get into that I'm just going to do my eyebrows quick I use the precisely my brow in the color 3.5 so I am obsessed with Disney movies I freaking love them like they kind of help my anxiety too because I just think like when back to as a little kid and like didn't have much problems <laughs> these this is always just like awkward to film love disney movies love like true crime like as for tv shows i just finished dahmer i had to watch that like one episode at a time because it was just like so disturbing to me like hats off for evan peters because it seemed so real i'm also watching Love Island UK season three and five. Just started watching Love Island UK for the first time because I had just watched the USA. Obsessed with Love Island UK, they are so funny. I am especially obsessed with Molly May. She is my icon now. Like I've creeped her profile so many times. I've been like starting to watch all her YouTube videos and I just love her. Love her and Tommy together. Also love Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm all up to date on that and just watched the reunion yesterday with my girlfriends and that shit popped off. I'm also watching Criminal Minds. I'm actually almost done. I used to watch this series like every day after school as a kid but never watched the series all the way through. So I'm on season 11 right now, I believe. And I'm gonna stop there because this is the last season with Hodge and Derek Morgan. And once they leave the show, I'm done. Like I know JJ and Spencer Reed are on it, but it's not the same without like the whole cast. And then I'm also watching Lord of the Rings, like the that new series with the, I forget, the two cities. I have no idea what it's called. That is freaking amazing. Season finale just came out. So, you know, me and Paul are gonna have to watch that sometime this weekend. I feel like I'm also watching other stuff. Like, I don't know. I watch like Selling Sunset, like all of those like Netflix kind of shows. Love, love TV. And I'm looking at my camera right now and it says I've been talking for four minutes and 40 seconds. And I hope this all hasn't been about TV shows because I would, um, I'd, uh, 
you know, recheck my life. So now I'm just setting my brows with the Merit in 1980. I don't know, it's the blonde brow, brow wand thing. Yeah, as for movies, Disney movies, love comedies. I like don't have a favorite movie. Oh, I love the Minions. I know that's not Disney, but my mom's called me one second. My mom was just calling me about Thanksgiving dinner tonight. <laughs> Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is blush. So there's not like a specific blush I use, like I have a few. So today I'm going to use Hot My Mama by The Bum. It's like this really pretty peachy sparkly kind of color. My let's my favorite season. You know, it was always summer, but I don't know, I've been really liking the fall this season and like now that I have my own place that I can decorate and stuff and like get in like the fall spirit, I am liking it a lot better. But, you know, summer will always forever have my heart cuz I I just feel like it's such a special season. I love cats. I really want my own cat, but our place doesn't allow animals, and as well, my roommate's allergic, so that's kind of out of the cards for now. But my boyfriend does have a cat, so I'm super happy that I get that fix from him because I just freaking love cats. I went to university at the University of Winnipeg, and then I did a joint program at a college in my city called Creative Communications, and that's how I got into advertising and marketing, and like even how I learned Premiere Pro and like video editing. The whole program encapsulated everything and taught me so much, and that's kind of like what trajectoried me into YouTube and creating and like influencer marketing and how I have like. A good knowledge in it so honestly if it wasn't for that program who knows if I would have went into being like a creator or anything like that maybe I still would have but it sure does help next I'm highlighting my face with winky Lux. it was this really pretty rose <laughs> this cream rose but I kind of ruined it a little bit but it is such a pretty like champagne color and it goes on so smooth when i first got it i didn't really like it because it wasn't that blendable but i think i just needed to like smooth out the product with like my fingers and stuff like it's just like such a pretty glow oh i've been pretty much every hair color in the book minus black hair by now I was always blonde and then like the past two years like kind of during COVID I feel like something just hit in me where I just got so so bored like I basically been every color of blonde got bored so I went to like bronze absolutely loved it I was brown for a while and then I accidentally went brunette I was brunette back in like 2013 so long ago and I hated it it did not suit me so I told myself I'm never going brunette again, but I accidentally went brunette by like a little toning accident. So I was brunette for a bit. I, it was better than what it was in 2013, but I feel like it just like doesn't suit me or like my skin tone or my eye color. So then I went red and I absolutely loved red. Um, I like to be ahead of trends. You heard it here first. I know red is like really trending right now, but um, I did it last year because I saw Gigi Hadid did it. And I was like, holy shit, I need this. So yeah, went red, loved it. But red hair is like a lot of maintenance and I just couldn't afford to keep up with it at the time. So I went like kind of back the bronze kind of color. And then slowly I've just been adding more blonde in my hair because I'm I'm ready for my blonde era again. It suits me so much and I had, hadn't been blonde in like over two years, so it's making its comeback. So now I'm just gonna do a really simple eye look. I'm using the NYX Ultimate Palette and I'm gonna use this shimmery, champagne-y, bronzy kind of color. Um, oh, but first I am gonna highlight the inner corner with just this light pink. It can be like any light color you have. 
I like don't really have that much fun facts about me. Like I feel like I'm like just kind of introverted and like, I don't know. I feel like I'm very introverted now. Like I was pretty outgoing back when I like peaked when I was like 20. But don't worry, hot girls always have multiple peaks. And that was an era, that was a peak era. And now I'm in another peak era. That's just how it works. So I was like pretty outgoing then. And like was always going to the clubs and bars, going out with my girlfriends, like all the time. Oh, fun fact, I worked for Red Bull before for a couple years, and it was the best job ever. Like, Red Bull is such an amazing company to work for, and I just freaking love Red Bull. I met like a ton of my best friends from there that are still best friends to this day, and that really changed my life in like all the best ways. But yeah, we'd always be going out and stuff, and then like, I think it was COVID, and I think it did this for a lot of people, but it just like, made people more homebodies and more introverted in a way. Maybe not, but that's what happened to me. But I like it, like I like to go out and have fun, but I feel like I reserve a lot of my energy for that. So when I'm home, I just kind of like to like, you know, watch my TVs and movies and like keep it more chill. So in the eyeshadow just looks like this. It's super natural, just kind of like makes your eyes pop. And now the makeup look is almost done. I'm gonna set my face with a MAC Fix Plus setting spray. I do a ton of sprays to like kind of create that wet look because it helps blend in your makeup better. Now I'm gonna add mascara and as always, I'm gonna do this off camera because I will never be good enough to do it on camera. Okay, so I have my mascara on and now to finish the look, I'm going to do my lip. So I did just get a new lip liner and lipstick that is my new holy grail products and i'm gonna i have been using this lip all the time so i'm gonna show you how i do it today so first to begin i always just use a little chapstick on my lip not a ton because then the product i find like isn't as prominent i just do a little bit because when it goes on dry, I feel like it just doesn't look as good. My lip combo right now is the Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude. It's this really pretty color. It's like the same, it's obviously not the same shade as Pillow Talk, but it's like the nude version of Pillow Talk super pretty and then I got the Kim K West oh my god look how pretty she is so you have to apply this properly because well first of all I saw a lot of reviews on this product on Sephora saying that it looks like concealer on their lips this and that but it's like duh Kim K uses a darker liner so it doesn't look so Concealer. <laughs> it looks beautiful. just iconic nude on my lips it's so pretty on its own even if you just wanted to like leave it like this or put a gloss over but I'm going to now go in with Kim KW and then like look how pretty that already looks it's so stunning but then I just go back with my lip liner just to add more of a gradient to the outer corners of my lips. Like, look at her. I am so freaking obsessed. So that is the finished 
everyday makeup look. Um, I still have to do my hair, but I'll do that quickly off camera and just show you the look. But this is my makeup look. It's like super natural and simple and it honestly doesn't take that long. If I wasn't filming, this would maybe take me like 15 minutes if I was rushing. Maybe about, no, I would say about 15. And then if I was like being kind of slow, like probably like 20. Okay, vlog time out. Well, this I guess this isn't a vlog, but oh my God, just as I got off filming, my best friend just got engaged. <laughs> I'm so, so happy for her. Like we were pretty sure this, were, this was coming, but it actually happened and she's a fiance now and I'm so, so excited for them. Oh, this is the picture. So cute. Oh, they went on a helicopter ride. He landed on a mountain and then he proposed to her and I saw the ring and it's so beautiful. Oh, I just gotta compose myself for a little and then I'm going to finish the look and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I basically just straightened my hair. Didn't feel like doing anything too crazy. So this is the finished hair and makeup look. I love it. I'm so obsessed. It's like the perfect amount for every day and it really accentuates my features and makes me feel confident and pretty. Um, so I'm going to end this video. My phone keeps going off from my best friend's engagement and I'm, I'm still shaking like I'm sweating. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you had fun sitting down and chatting with me. I'd love to do a video like this again, so if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you again next time. Bye!